Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing a very interesting topic which is the concern of all the parents in the modern world. Screen time and children. So as we all know, because of the increasing gadget use, children are more and more addicted to screen, whether it is iPads, laptops, smartphones or in fact television. The modern lifestyle has made children addict to so much of indoor activities and to the screen that their life is getting really hampered and that is the major concern of all the parents coming to us and telling that their child is all the time on the screen. So what can we do about it? How can we discuss more about it? First and foremost, we all should understand that children learn from us. What we do, our kids will follow us. So we ourselves need to reduce our screen time. And we need to indulge the kids more into outdoor activities, physical activities, more into other relationships than being on the screen. Yes, of course, screen and children. Increased screen time causes a lot of side effects on a child's brain. It reduces the social skills in the child, it reduces the developmental skills in the child, it makes the child more introvert and in fact more restricted within himself. He will not even like to interact with his parents or relatives. He will not have that social uh, interaction with friends. All the time, whatever is there is on the screen. Yes, COVID times have made children addicted more to screen. But now that schools are open and more physical activities are there, we should try and indulge our kids into more other activities than being on the screen. So how can we effectively utilize the screen and then teach our children how to develop that habit? Parents should always guide the kids for how effectively, how highly programmed the screen is and how it can help them to achieve good skills. Rest of the things they should definitely go and learn outside. So restricting to the screen time maximum half an hour per day for young children below 5 years of age and above 5 years of age between 5 to 12 yes they can use the screen time for 1 to 1 and a half hours but yes it should be viewed by the parents it should be controlled and yes it should be used in a more effective manner so that children is the child is learning better and children are grasping good habits out of it instead of just getting addicted into gaming designing graphic etc. So it's always better that we guide our child how to use the screen effectively. Secondly, we should remove or reduce the screen time in our bedroom and of course during the meals because it is a very common habit of all the parents these days. Kid is not eating, give him a mobile, he'll get interacted, he'll get indulged in it and we can easily feed them. It's become such a common habit that the child even doesn't get to know what he's eating. So, teach your child to interact with you, sit on the table with him, talk to him about the school, about other extracurricular activities and make them feed. So that they're not more and more addicted to the screen. Screen addiction is causing a lot of side effects on the child's brain. Also, it is leading to more and more childhood obesity cases. Because yes, of course, the sedentary lifestyle is leading to obesity, diabetes. Childhood diabetes is becoming too and too common. Depression, behavioral patterns. The child becomes more irritated. He won't even answer you properly. They'll get angry on small, small things. Instead, if they are involved in other activities and if they go out and play with their friends, they will know. What is there? What is winning? What is losing? How to interact with the child? How to share things? So we need to develop these habits in our child. We as parents can take this initiative and help our children learn better. We should sit with them. We should guide them. Secondly, there has to be a balance between the screen time and other activities. You cannot totally cut down the screen time. Yes, of course, the child will ask you about the screen. And of course, all their homework, school times, extra learning habits, everything is on the screen these days. So the gadgets have to be used properly. But along with that, you should always take a consultation with an ophthalmologist and check their refractive errors, check their eyesight time to time. 
so that we get to know how it is affecting. Secondly, the child should not sit with the screen in a dim light room. The room should be properly lit. There should be proper distance between the screen and the children, child's eye. There should be limited duration and the glare should not be too much that it's affecting the child and it's causing too much of irritation or itching in the eye. Because excess of screen time also leads to dryness in the eye. Third, we should always keep our mobiles, gadgets, even the devices to charge these gadgets outside of our bedroom. We should spend that quality time with our child, at least half an hour to 45 minutes per day, interact with them, ask them their problems, listen to them, and then try to solve it without the screen. Even try to make them learn without the screen. Third, we should tell the child to learn to share. Because once they are all alone at home, they are all the time on the screen, they don't know how to share things. Even if they go out, they won't be able to share things. So if they are playing with their friends or if they are having good time with their siblings, they will definitely know how to share, how to interact, how to develop that social atmosphere around them. So it's my genuine request to all the parents to increase more and more extracurricular activities in the child's curriculum and reduce the screen time. Even if the screen has to be used, even for very young children, use it effectively, even for video calls to their relatives and grandparents, or in a guided way to teach them better. So, please interact with your child.